Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming a holiday glam look perfect for Christmas, perfect for New Year's. Well, not New Year's, more like Christmas. So if you are interested in seeing this video, just keep on watching. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there and also have your notifications turned on. It's that little bell icon. Um, you'll see it right next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified every single time that I upload. But anyways, let's just get started into this video. Shall we? We shall. So first off, I'm going to be tying a bandana around my head so that way my hair doesn't get in the way of me applying my foundation or any of that. I just don't want my hair to be, you know, touching any of the makeup products, so I'm just making sure that's out of the way. And once that's all done and completed, I am just going to start with my eyes. So I'm taking my P. Louise base and I'm just going to start priming both of my lids with that. Now I'm going into the Carity Picante palette and I'm just going to take the shade Bobble and I'm going to apply this as my first transition color into the crease. I'm just going to pack on the color first and then blend it out. Now I'm going into the Morphe 35O Matte. You can tell this palette's old just by looking at the packaging. Like Morphe Ben upgraded their packaging. This is like the old 35O palette. I'm just taking that, um, you know, orangey brown shade and I'm popping that into the crease for my second transition. I'm going to take some more of that orange shade that I got from the Carity palette and pack that on top just to make sure things are blended nice and well and smooth and seamless. <laughs> then I'm taking the darker brown shade in the same palette, the 35O, and I'm going to apply that to my crease for my final transition. Now it's time to cut the crease, so I'm taking the P. Louise base, the same thing that I used to prime my eyes, and I'm going to just cut my crease with that, and then I'm going to take this flat brush, this flat, like, you know, just a flat brush, pretty much, and I'm just going to, like, carve that out just to make sure things are nice and perfectly cut, and all that jazz. Now I'm going into this gold shade in the Carity palette. The shade is Morning, And I'm just going to pack that onto the concealer just to fill in that cut crease. And this is also going to be like a base for the glitter that we're going to be applying later. Yep, so we're applying the NYX glitter glue. And then after all that's applied, I really just use a, you know, disposable lipstick applicator to apply my glitter glue. But, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm taking this Holy Glitter in the shade Nougat. And I'm just going to start applying that to my eyes. This is gorgeous. I freaking love this glitter. It is, oh my god, like, look at it. Look at it. But I'm taking this brown shade and I'm just going to smoke that out on my outer corner and then taking that lighter brown shade and putting that more towards the center just so things can look nice and smoked out and less harsh. Moving on to my face makeup, I'm taking this moisturizer. This is the Pond's moisturizer for dry skin or whatever. And this is just the perfect start to, like, apply your makeup. It just gets your face nice and prepared and moisturized, so this is what I use. Um, I got this idea from Sydney Lillian on YouTube. She does this all the time, so I was inspired by her to start doing it. But now I'm taking the NYX Priming Spray, and I'm just spraying that all over my face. This is like an extra step for moisture to prepare your face. Now I'm priming my face with the Mary Kay Primer, and I'm just going to apply that all over my skin just like so. I'm now taking the NYX pore filler and just applying that to my nose area because my nose has the most pores. It's crazy. They gotta go, you know what I'm saying? But I'm taking my favorite mixture of foundations, the Maybelline Fit Me in Coconut and the Fenty Beauty in um, 390. And I'm just going to apply that to my face. I can never find like a foundation that's perfectly for my skin. I always gotta mix a foundation. It's crazy, but you know, that's what I gotta do for it to be my perfect match. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just blending that out with my beauty sponge. Now I'm 
Now it's time for the concealer. So I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige and I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes, down my nose, um, underneath my nose, and on my chin and on my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that out with this Beauty Bakery blending sponge. Now it's time to set everything in place, so I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup powder and just, you know, setting underneath my eyes and all the areas that I highlighted. Alright, so since we set all the highlighted areas, I'm going to set the rest of my face. So I'm taking this L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is in the shade Cool Deep, I think. And I'm just going to apply that to the perimeter of my face. So I'm underneath my cheeks, my uh, forehead, and all that stuff. I'm terrible at explaining, but you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Now I'm about to set everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and this is just going to make sure everything's nice and set into place and make sure that the makeup will not move at all. But now I'm taking the Juvia's Place Festival Palette in the shade Adogu and I'm just going to use that as a highlight. I always do this. This is like my favorite go-to highlight. It's not even meant for highlighting but it's like an eyeshadow but I use it to highlight all the time. Like all my looks I use this. I love it. As you can see it just makes my face just so glowy. I freaking love it. <laughs> I'm going back into the 35-0 matte palette and I'm taking that dark brown shade and I'm just going to pop that to the lower lash line and yeah, just smoke that out. And then after that, I'm going in with that lighter brown shade in the palette and I'm just going to apply that right below the um, dark brown shade on my lower lash line. For the inner corners, I'm going in with the shade Fearless from the Carity palette and I'm just going to pop that into my inner corners. This is just going to make the whole eye look come together and bring it to life. For lips, I'm taking the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Dr. M and I'm just going to apply this to my lips. This is just like a nice bold spin to my whole makeup look. The eyes are nice and neutral, but the lips are just, you know, out there and bold and just, you know... Ugh, I, I just love it like the whole look just came together once I applied that lipstick oh my god just look at me like oh like I'm slaying like work it girl work it by the way stay to the end for bloopers they are funny as I don't know what stay to the end <laughs> So there you have it guys, this is the official completed look. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 1,500 subscribers by the end of the year. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? 
if you guys support me and share my stuff, then maybe we can. Um, I'm very much so looking forward to hitting that goal. I'm sure we can because, you know, I've been hitting my milestones every any other time, so I'm sure we can. But anyways, yes, subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you have your notifications turned on. That way you're notified every single time that I upload. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I don't care. Leave some suggestions for some future videos, and I'll be sure to make some videos regarding those suggestions. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy whatever you celebrate to you all. Bye. <laughs> Hate it, but looking back, it made me greater. Forget the haters, just get my money. Yeah. Where's the hair? I put it back in the bathroom. The fuck? If I don't say say no, what would you do? Dumbass, my boyfriend is playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's like no, baby, baby. I won't quit it. Shine like no other. I be on some other sh. I got a high pride lifestyle. Super bad, bad. If I want it, then I got it. If I don't get all I gotta do is go. Get it. Stay up out my business. Fall till I fall. Floss until I finish. Woo!